Anybody that watches my channel will know that I'm heavily into gadgets and this is a really neat little gadget that I found recently which I think many people will find useful. It's a mini SBUS PPM and PWM monitor analyzer, call it what you will. On the display here you can see the individual channels. So if I put the throttle up, channel 3 there, rudder, channel 4, ailerons on channel 1, elevator on channel 2. Why is this useful? Well stick around and I'll show you a few uses for it. Looking over the device then, it's clearly 3D printed. Looks like something I might have built myself, but I didn't. Power is supplied here in this case. You can use a 2S to 4S pack to power the device, or you can power it from the S bus or PPM input here. You will notice a little jack on the back there. That's for connecting to things like uh, the output of a transmitter. That only supports PPM and it recommends not connecting anything else when that is in use. The only other thing we have is a tiny recessed button on the side there. If we push that then we get the values of the individual channels. So going across from the top is channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, etc. You can see then a value on channel 3 as my throttle is down there at 229 milliseconds. If I throttle up it goes up to 1800 milliseconds. Therefore it's a very useful thing to be able to find the values that are actually being received or sent by the transmitter depending on your point of view. Pressing again gets us back to the original screen. Now this will automatically detect S bus or PPM. This little radio link receiver that I'm using supports both. Therefore, if I change it now from the S bus port to the PPM port, we can see that it's automatically detected the PPM. And in this instance, we have just the eight channels, it being an eight channel receiver. But clearly again channel 3, 4, 1 and 2 as before. No signal. And finally, not sure if this will work, let's see, uh, channel 4 for example. Yes, channel 4 being recognised here as a PWM output, a value of 1500. And channel 4, if we remember, is our rudder function. So we can see the value there and it's telling us that the frequency of the PPM signal is 48 hertz, 50 hertz. Clearly that will display 60 or whatever the actual frequency happens to be. Clearly then this will be very useful in diagnosing problems. With a conventional PWM receiver it's quite easy to work out what's happening on each of the channels. But when it's coming out of SBUS, without a device like this you're kind of depending on whatever values you've set in your transmitter and occasionally there'll be something that's going on that you just simply don't understand and it could be because there's a mix on the transmitter or some kind of strange setting that uh, you've forgotten about and plugging this in will immediately show you. For example, I have set up dual rates on this particular transmitter. At the moment the aileron is going 100%. If I flick a switch, we can see now that the dual rates have kicked in and the aileron throw is only 50%. If you'd forgotten about that and we're getting incorrect movement of the control surfaces, then this will point you immediately in the right direction. By the way, if you're interested in this transmitter, I'll put a link to a video that I've done recently reviewing the transmitter and receiver. Let's then finally look at uh, another option. Okay, I've put together a little test scenario here to show how this can help us track down any problems with the connection between the SBUS receiver and a flight controller and our end servo. 
this little radio link gyro is set up and if we move it around we can see the gyro in action there and the servo going crazy on the S bus here I'm connected to the aileron channel clearly channel 1 we can see the the number on the this is connected to the the PWM output in parallel with the servo we can see the values on there what's interesting though is that if I press the little button on here to show us the actual value we're in column 1 there if I move the aileron this way the S bus output is actually 213 whereas the output from the flight controller is 1900 and conversely we go to 1800 here it's down to 1100 there uh, clearly the signal is being inverted if you will and perhaps the control surface would be going the wrong way using this flight controller it's important to only reverse channels on the device itself let me do that so now I've reversed channel 1 on the flight controller now if I go in this direction my 213 again and down to 1100 the servo is going that way and conversely 1800 1900 here so clearly the flight controller is having some influence on the actual PWM values being sent to the servo and there will be no way of knowing that easily without this little device for completeness then let me just finally show you the jack input here for uh, checking out the PPM. Now this would be very important. I've got my Tyrannus here set up as the slave device or the learner device if you if you like. So it will be sending this signal to the master controller and it would be a good idea to check that things are moving in the right direction with the right values uh, before you go and try and teach somebody to fly and pile their model into the ground because their transmitter was not set up correctly. The eight channels of PPM value there and again we can read the individual values by pressing the button. Another thing I forgot to mention was that although you can power this from 2S to 4S it does have an internal regulator. The voltage coming out of the connection here for your SBUS or PPM is at 5 volts so you're in no danger of frying your receiver thinking that it's going to be powered at over 7.4 volts because it has an internal regulator however it doesn't tell me what the current from that regulator is going to be I wouldn't go powering some PPM receiver with 8 servos hanging off it necessarily I hope you found that review of this little device useful and you will find a home for it in your toolbox too Thanks for watching.